Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers. I'm really happy to be in your presence this morning. Like, I know you are there and you're watching me and you're following me. You're learning something from what we are doing on Impact Africa. Introducing this program of Impact Africa today, we'll be talking about filaria. As I earlier said in previous videos, we are not scientists, neither are we medical doc, but we are just human beings living on this planet and in this uh, environment. There are so much to offer. We are trying to make an analysis of the things we have in our environment and how they can help us. Today, you find very beautiful girls. When you look at their legs, you don't like us. What certain skin problems. You look at a young man, handsome, but he has deficiency in his problem. And because we do not have enough sufficient money to be able to buy the kind of products that some people buy, be able to make their bodies look good and radiant, we started asking ourselves questions. How do we solve this problem? And we identified one of the problems that is responsible for the cause of fungi and the all kinds of skin problems that we have today in our society. Filaria. Filaria is a complex, complex skin issue. People don't really know how to solve it. Find people in their 40s, 50s still complaining. Filaria itches. They still complain about filaria coming out on their bodies and filaria leaving them with lasting scars. Today we are about to introduce something that might help. And this is the series of plants that we have assembled to introduce to you today, which are very potent as far as filaria is concerned. In its initial stages, I still say initial, so you don't let it grow and become turned into something else. This is the purple leaf. I've introduced the purple leaf to you before. The treatment of other diseases, but it also works when it comes to filaria. It works when it's combined with other plants. You have the purple leaf, you have the mukanjo leaf. Look at it very well. I've introduced it. It's a very powerful herb. Powerful. When I say powerful, I mean the word powerful. You have the masopo. You have the masopo. Take note of it. Masopo. And finally, the most important in this concoction, I want to say we're talking about the most important component of the of the filaria treatment is lantana the lantana plant it's a flower why we went to primary school in those days in the early 80s nearly every school had this plant but we never knew what it was what it works for we thought it was just a flower for decoration until it's late that we're beginning to discover that it's a very effective treatment filaria and then thank the televiewers for viewers for, for having sent uh, the name of this what we call masopo uh, it has been it has been we have been made to understand that the English name for it is basilic. Basilic. Thank you. The combination of these three plants, you just boil them. You boil them, I trample them, I remove the juice. Begin to drink, it begins to kill the filai worm in the body. And it begins to gradually get rid of the filaria that is in your system. As I'm saying, we are not scientists and neither are we doctors. But we are human beings living on this earth. Just like our parents taught us to get harvest in Jama Jama and cook and eat. And it tastes good to eat with fufu corn. That is exactly how we came about finding that this thing works for filaria. Some people with time don't research, not research like going into a laboratory. Out of experience have consumed these things, have mixed this thing out of desperation, and it finally gave paid out, paid out. And we are thanking God for giving us this help because now we know that we can have our filaria issue solved right there. Now we know that we can get rid of filaria in the child while the child is still growing up. God bless you. Subscribe, share. Thank you.